This is gonna be a piece of cake. No, no way! way. <laughs> No, it's a trap! Lloyd, help us! Forget about us. Find a way to evade this trap. Don't worry about me. Just take care of Mythos. This device is not life-threatening. Please, don't worry. Lloyd, as long as you're all right, we still haven't lost. 
You must get to the Great Seed. <laughs> Lloyd, find the Darius Emblem. With it, you can disarm this trap. <laughs> Guys! Damn! What the hell is going on? What happened to everyone? Everything is all right. I can feel the presence of your companions. They are somewhere in this city. All right. Let's go find them. Is this the location of the Darius Emblem Seal? Hang on a sec. Do you hear a strange sound? What's this? We'll be sucked into the magic circle! We must run! No! What is this thing? Look below! What's the matter? You'll be caught unless you hurry up and run. Well, well, what a rare sight, Kratos. Wh why are Lloyd and Kuchinawa... Calm down. It's just an illusion. I'm not an illusion. You've spent so long turning a blind eye to Mythos that you've lost all ability to see. You grew up in Mizuho, yet you still can't tell if I'm real or an illusion? You really are a failure. You couldn't stop Mythos. And you couldn't protect Mom. And then you sank to the level of a traitor. You're absolutely pathetic, you know that? Neither of you should have been born. Everyone would have been so much happier had you not been born. You brought misfortune upon the people of Mizuho. I, I haven't brought misfortune to... Can you really say you didn't? You, the coward who trembled before Vault and killed your comrades? The one who betrayed his friends and then shamelessly came back, and the one who killed the people of her village. What a fitting end. Now if you think you can run, run! You'll be devoured by the darkness and die! At this rate, we'll be eaten by that thing. You gotta be kidding! Want me to help you, Kratos? Beg for our forgiveness. Pledge loyalty to Crucius with me. That monster will bestow eternal suffering upon you. If it devours you, you will neither live nor die. You will be trapped in true darkness, tormented in isolation forever. Forever? Allow me to save you. Just cooperate with us and turn over Colette. 
Then it will all be over. Lord Mythos has agreed to let the people of Mizuho live. You turned a blind eye to what Mythos did once. All you have to do is turn away one more time. Then the world will be saved. Mythos will save it. Mythos will save the world? Yeah. And he'll even forgive you for betraying him. You and me, Dad. Let's build a peaceful world that Mythos envisions together. All you have to do is pledge your allegiance to me. As soon as you do that, you will be saved from the Shadow's grasp. The people of Mizuho! This is absurd. Listen to me, both of you! Don't be fooled! The real me is down below! So it would seem. Then that one really is a fake. You fool! The real Lloyd is here. That voice is just an illusion. I'm not an illusion! Do you think it's better for the people of Mizuho to become part of the Age of Lifeless Beings? Besides, there's no way I'd go along with Mythos's ideals. Don't worry. That's just an illusion that lives in my heart. An illusion that tries to appease me for turning my back to reality and going along with Mythos. Then... that Kuchinawa is... is an illusion inside me. Exactly! I believe in you! I know you two can beat those illusions and come back to me! You're here because you're needed in this world! Your lives have value just by existing! Just by being alive? My life has value? I have value? Me? Of course not. No life has any value just by being alive. Humans and those who have betrayed me have no value. Shut up. There's a significance in being born. But if that's not good enough for you, I'll give them another value. They're both valuable because they're my friends. So you accept me? You'd betray me again? Dad, are you choosing that fake over me? Be gone! Illusions of Mythos and Lloyd! My son needs me! I cannot run from the sins of my past. Lloyd, allow me to atone for the foolishness of overlooking Mythos' brutality. Looks like you beat me to it. Are you running away again? I'll raise the entire village of Mizuho. I am not running. The people of Mizuho are waiting for us to reunite the worlds. Betraying that trust would truly be running away. Damnation or salvation? Guess there's only one way to find out. Welcome back, you two. It's not like I can really run away from the fact that I was born. I am ashamed for giving up and running away. I convinced myself that there was nothing I could do. I was able to reconfirm that thanks to that illusion. Yeah, running won't solve anything. What possible value does one burden to exist with cursed blood have? Sometimes running's the only way to save yourself. Humans are... so arrogant. What is that? A spider figurine? But it's broken in half. It's kind of creepy. Maybe it's an admonition to not run away. Hmm. Maybe it is. I'm gonna hang on to it as a reminder.
This is gonna be a piece this of cake. Be good. Okay. Uh, messed up. Rising Falcon. This can't be good. Tempest. All right. I'll save you guys. I thought I just saw Lloyd. Yes, he disappeared. What could... A trap? Even if it is, remaining here indefinitely... Would not be particularly meaningful. Let us search for Lloyd. I'm so glad you two are safe. Alicia. Impossible. Please wait. I'll take you to Lloyd. It's an illusion. Alicia is... dead. Yes. She was murdered. Yes. Then what am I, Prisea? Even though I'm right here, breathing, my very own sister insists that I'm dead? I... It's true that I was murdered by Regal. But here I am, alive, in front of you. Isn't that enough? It's only an illusion. Be gone! <laughs> Prisea! We don't know for certain it's an illusion. Prisea, you believe me, don't you? Thank you. You! Stop. If you don't stop. Regal, I can't believe you tried to kill me. I can't believe it. Silence, Phantom! Prisea, move! If you want to kill Alicia, you must face me first. Prepare yourself. Stop it! Both of you! Lloyd's voice. Is this an illusion as well? But... There's blood. I feel an evil presence from that blood. Be careful, Prisea. What's going on? What is real? It doesn't matter. Just settle down. Why are you fighting each other? You're supposed to be friends. Lloyd. You... aren't an illusion? Why did you stop attacking? You hate the one who murdered me, don't you? And Regal, why won't you just let yourself be killed? You've always felt guilty about killing me. Uh. Here's your chance to end it all. Yes, it's for the best. If you are killed, you will no longer feel guilt. If you kill him, you will have your revenge. Crimes must be punished. Both of you, get a hold of yourselves. Don't confuse who you should be fighting. Dying won't settle anything. Killing won't solve anything. That is merely logic. People are not moved by logic. If the one you love is killed, you hate the murderer. And murderers must be punished. But if you keep killing people like that, it'll only spawn new hate and new revenge. Besides, you're just running away if you die. You'll forget the murder and the pain of that crime. Spawn new hate. Running away from my crime. What about my feelings? You murdered me! It is true that Alicia died. But I know she doesn't want things to end like this. 
What you're both doing is selfish. You're... the real Lloyd. And that Alicia is a fake. Alicia wouldn't say things like that. Are you... going to kill me? Stop deceiving my friends! I came to get you guys. I'm sorry. I... lost the will to atone for my crimes by taking comfort in the feeling of being punished. Death is not punishment. Punishment is living with one's crime and working to atone for it. I closed off my heart and turned away from people who were trying to atone for their crimes. Because it was easier to hate than to forgive. There are so many things you can do before you die. And I don't think everything has to be forgiven. But no matter how painful things may be, you just can't dwell on the past. You're right. I will stop allowing myself to be trapped in the past. One cannot seek a new world while dragging the past along. And thus you forget the past. The countless lives that were lost. And the pain of those that suffered. Crimes must be met with punishment. What's that? A knife. There are nicks all over the blade. Maybe it's a symbol of your past. Let us think of it that way. Yes, so that we may never fight amongst ourselves again. This is going to be a piece this of cake. Be good. Pretty good. Beast! spear. Rising Falcon! That was disappointing. What the? Why is the mayor... Be careful. It's an illusion. You think I'm an illusion? This is exactly why everyone says half-elves are fools. Rain, my pitiful child. A tainted child who received only half her elven blood. 
Mother? Half-elves have no place in this world. That's not true! It is because you are despicable halflings that I was chased out of Heimdall. Then why did you give birth to us? There probably was no choice. That's why you were thrown away after you were born. Disappear from this world. Die! There is no meaning for you to live. Disappear. Die! Now! Humans and elves. Neither side wants us. That's right. No one wants you. I didn't choose to be born like this, yet... It can't be helped. It's your fault for not being a pureblood. No, you're wrong! No, they are not wrong. Half-elves are despised and discriminated against for merely being alive. Our existence is a crime. No, it's not the half-elves' fault! But... We... People who can't accept those who are different are the ones to blame. It's because of their weak hearts. Hey, you two. I came to get you. Lloyd. Now let's go. It's hopeless, Rain. You'll just be abandoned again. As long as you're a half-elf, the world will continue to hate you. Lloyd came for us, even though he could have left us behind and faced Mythos. You'll just be betrayed again, because you're a half-elf. You may be right, but then again you may be wrong. It wasn't because of my blood that you abandoned me. It was because of the world that hates my blood, and a mother who was too weak to stand up against it. I'm going to stop hating that weakness. My hatred never changed anything. In order to change the world, I must first change myself. I'm glad I was born a half-elf. It was because of it that I met Lloyd and my other dear friends. Genus, do you feel the same? Are you happy that you were born a half-elf? That's ridiculous! There's no world for half-elves! Because humans hate us, I hate humans. Genus! But I like you, Lloyd. And I like everyone we traveled with. Because I think they all like me. You're an idiot. You're deluding yourself. I'm the same. Just like those that hate half-elves, I get mad at humans and elves just for being who they are. That's just going to make them hate me more. My heart was weak too. Is it a sin to be weak-hearted? Not everyone's strong. Not everyone can stand being despised. Hey, you two. Lloyd! Thanks for coming! I'm sorry. I promise to make up for all the trouble we've caused. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? Hey, what's this thing that just came floating down? They're fragments of the mirror. Maybe they're symbols of the weakness of our hearts. You should hang on to it. It's proof that you guys beat that weird mirror. Okay. Yes, it's a good idea. You're in for a world of hurt. <laughs> Danger. Dragon! Seize White Spear! Rising Falcon! No way! Get out of my sight! Rising this can't Falcon! Be good. Demon Fang! What? Never stood a chance.
she's too strong. I can't. Mythos! Get away from her! How dare you, human! You son of Kratos! How dare you give me orders? Whoa. What's going on? Mortel! How could you? Human, your kind must not be allowed to live! How far are you willing to go to take control of the mana? I'll never forgive you. You humans are all the same! Kratos? Why is Kratos... Dad! Lloyd, don't lose yourself. The truth is within you. What was that? It's Mythos' memory. After the ancient war, when Martel was killed... Shut up! Shut up! Why do you interfere? Both you and Kratos. We both want the same thing. I just wanted to save the world and my sister. To have a world where no one will be persecuted. Kratos knew that as well. Colette, are you okay? Lloyd, I'm sorry. I'm always causing trouble for you. Don't worry about it. What is this? This is... This is the Darius emblem. Darius emblem? It's a seal Mythos created to block the path to his castle. He created it by linking his soul with the fabric of space, by the power of the Eternal Sword. So that's why the trap didn't affect me. With this, the path to Mythos's castle is now open. Okay. Let's go! You're in for a world of hurt. Fire seal! No way! Demon flight spear! Demon Beast! Do not bother us.
Mythos is just ahead. And the Great Sea should be there too. This is it, everyone. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm prepared to accept whatever happens in the coming battle. And we will win. Yeah, we're gonna win. For Mizuho, Corinne, and for all of you who believed in a coward like me. And for myself, too. I don't want anyone else to make the same mistake I did. No one should have to think that he has to sacrifice his own life. Everyone should be able to live freely, no matter who they are. Humans and elves, and even us. It's okay for us to be here, in this world. Yes. That's why we must recover the great seed from Mythos, and revive the giant tree. Without it, not only will we be unable to restore peace between the different races... The world itself will die. We can't let that happen. We must reunite the worlds. Afterwards, we shall make a new promise to the new world. To atone for allowing this twisted world to exist, I will fight with everything I have. And win. All right. Let's go. We're going to restore a world where everyone can live freely. I'm going home. Mythos, listen to me. We don't have to fight. Please return the Great Sea to us so that we can reunite the worlds. Home. I'm going home. Something's wrong. He sounds like a puppet. W what? I need to thank you for going through all the trouble to bring me back here. I'm finally myself again. Damn. So that's what this was all about. Mythos, Martel is already dead. That's not true. Martel is alive. Just as I lived on in the Crucius Crystal. That's not living. That's just existing as a lifeless being. What's wrong with that? What? After all, in our bodies flow the bloods of humans and elves, the bloods of those that despise us. We're better off casting aside such filth and become lifeless beings. That's what you really want? Of course. Watch. When you become a lifeless being, you can even control your appearance and growth. Everyone should become lifeless beings. I told you before, the only way to eliminate discrimination is for everyone to become the same race. What you hope for is nothing but a dream, Mythos. Discrimination comes from the heart. He's right, Mythos. It's the weakness of people's hearts that causes discrimination. Looking down upon others while placing themselves too high. You do the same thing. You look down on humans and elves, treating them like cattle. That's the weakness of your heart. Even if people become lifeless beings, nothing will change. Discrimin- Then where should the half-elves go? We aren't accepted anywhere. We opened our hearts, but no one took us in. Where should we live? 
You can live anywhere you like. Don't make me laugh. I'm serious. Anywhere is fine. If you aren't doing anything wrong, you should just live proudly in the open. It's because we couldn't do that. That I... that we wanted a place of our own. But that is not an excuse for the things we have done. It is merely a motive, not a justification. What you've done caused meaningless suffering and death to countless people. Can you feel their pain? People can change. Months, years, as time passes, change is inevitable. Maybe not everything can be forgiven, but one can try to atone for one's sins. Can't you feel it in your heart? The goddess known as conscience. Do you think I'm gonna beg for forgiveness? Ridiculous. There is no goddess. So I will continue to pursue my ideals. If there is no place where I can live, and if I've been denied my age of lifeless beings, then the only thing left for me is to build a new world on Daris Carlon. A world just for my sister and me. There's nothing anyone can do. Please. <laughs> I'm pretty good. Please. I beg of you to reveal that you will get Angel feathers! It's not working! <laughs> Holy lamp! <laughs> Demon Rising white spear! <laughs> Half ring whirlwind! <laughs> Demon beast! <laughs> Something's coming! Rage lamp! I'm dizzy. You get her. Don't overdo it. First aid! Holy Lance! <laughs> Holy Lance! <laughs> Why'd you see? My sister means everything to me. I won't let anyone get in my way. I'll revert this entire world back to nothingness. Mythos, don't make your sister suffer any longer! That's right! You know the truth, Mythos! None of you understand how I feel. Pretty good. Holy Lance! I messed up. Holy Lance! Take this! Pretty good. First aid! Holy Lance! Pretty good. Ray! Take this! First aid! I messed up. Holy Lance! Take this! Disappear. First aid! Please. My dream of a world for my sister and me. It's not over yet. Mitho! 
house is. It's just like Alicia. Mythos will continue to live as long as the Crucius Crystal exists. And eventually, I will be taken over by the Crystal. Mythos. I'm tired of playing your game of good and evil. Hurry up and destroy the Crystal. If you don't, Darius Carlon will continue to drift away. Mythos! Do it now! Before I... Too... I'm no longer myself. Lloyd! Please! Help him! Let him die while he's still himself! Alright. Farewell, my shadow. You who stand at the end of the path I chose not to follow. I wanted my own world, so I don't regret my choice. I would make... I will continue to choose this path. You could have lived with us in our world. Damn it. The old master of the pact is no more. What does the new master of the pact ask of this sword? Restore the true form of our two worlds! Are we back? What's going on? doing your wish is granted but there is no link without a link the land will die just as I thought the world was originally separated into two in order to prevent its destruction if it returns to its true form, the world lacks the mana to support itself. The land is dying. I don't need to know why it's dying. What do we need to do to stop it? Support the two worlds by linking them with a the giant tree. That is the only way to stop the destruction of the land. 
We need to restore the giant Carlon tree. I get it. Lloyd, quickly, before Dara's Carlon flies off into the distant reaches of space, use its mana to awaken the Great Seed. That's the only way to revive it. All right, then. I'm counting on you, Eternal Sword. Dara's Carlon is already at the edge of the gravitational field. Not even Yggdrasil. Mythos could stop this from happening. Do you still intend to try? Yeah. Even strengthened by your Exphere, it is likely that your body will not withstand the forces. Are you certain of your decision? I said I'm doing it, so I'm doing it. It's not like we have a choice. Very well. It's not working! The mana's being deflected! The Great Seed is... already dead! Wait! Don't go! Please, wake up! Dares Carlon stop moving away. Yeah, but why? The Eternal Sword is gone. The Eternal Sword. Thank goodness. This is my final wish. Eternal Sword. Please awaken the Great Seed. I beg you. Please wake up. Please. Rise, giant Carlon tree! Martell, and also the incarnation of the Great Seed itself, Lloyd, 
Your hope, as well as those of many others, resurrected me. So you're Mitho's sister? No, Mitho's sister Martel is only one of the many souls within me. I am Mana, and I am the giant tree. I am the symbol of the many lives sacrificed to the great seed. I am a new spirit born to accompany the giant tree. And now the seed has awakened anew along with me. the giant tree, but right now, it is only a small seedling. In its current state, the tree will wither and die. Well then, how do we protect it? You must provide the tree with love and adoration. As long as those conditions are met, I shall always protect the seedling. I promise, if the tree ever starts to wither, I'll make sure we won't let it die. Then Lloyd, on behalf of all living things, I want you to give this tree a new name, as a proof of the pact. What? The giant Carlon tree was planted here by the elves when they first came, as a guardian to watch over and protect them. This newly reborn tree protects elves, humans, and the lives of all those who are caught in between. Therefore, this tree requires a new name. Lloyd, pick a name for us. A name for everyone's tree. So this tree is the link that connects the world. Okay, I got it. This tree's name is...
Grandmother, I'm home. Oh, chosen one. No, Grandmother, I'm not a chosen anymore. Oh, yes. Colette, you have made us all proud. Welcome home, Colette. It's good to be home, Father. I see. So, Kratos will travel with Deris Karlon wherever it may go. What are you going to do? Go back to Isalia? No. We're going out to visit new lands. We're going around the world to try and make it easier for half-elves to be accepted. It sounds like you have a difficult journey ahead of you. We can return to Isalia when we're tired. We will always have a home there. Hi everyone, I'm back! Sheena, I'm so glad you're safe. Congratulations, Sheena! And don't congratulate me yet. A whole new world lies before us now. We have to inform everyone about the revival of the Igaguri style. Yes, and for when Kuchinawa returns as well. Yeah! Come on, everyone. Let's work as hard as we can. We're gonna make the village of Mizuho into a ninja clan to be proud of. Alicia, I'm finally myself again. Time is finally starting to flow again from that night 16 years ago. You know what? I'm 28 years old now. Can you believe that? Were you talking with Alicia? Yes. I just got back from overseeing the destruction of part of the mine. Now that that's done, we can rest assured that no new X-spheres will be excavated. That's good to hear. What are your plans now? I'm going to devote the full resources of my company to revitalization projects in order to build a new and better world. I'll help too. I'm sure Alicia and Daddy would have wanted me to. Are you really going to Darius, Carlon? If a half-elf of Crucius remains here, the other half-elves will have no place to live. As a surviving member of Crucius, I must bear the responsibility for what has happened. I'm going to collect all the X-Spheres remaining in this land. And I will discard all of Crucius's X-Spheres into space. I've dragged you into this until the very end. It's okay. It's time for me to go. Please use that sword to send us to Darius Karla. Goodbye, Dad. Don't die before I do, Lloyd. My son. wasn't it? For me to let him go? It was okay, right? Lloyd, you wanted to go with him, didn't you? No. I have my own path to follow. And Dad has his. And besides, I have a dad here already. Is he? I won't see anymore. Mom, I'll leave Dad's sword here beside you. Well, I'm off. <laughs>